Hey, I'm Dan. I'm the inventor, the founder of Wine Bars, and this is Jason, our chief scientist. Jason, do you know the number one question I get asked every time I show wine bars to someone new? What's that, Dan? Everybody wants to know just how high can you stack wine bottles on wine bars. Now, I always tell people, stack them wide, not high. But it's still a really good question, and I think we got to answer that. On to the factory? To the factory. Hey, we're here at Salem Metal. Salem Metal is a precision sheet metal manufacturer based in Middleton, Massachusetts, and I'm proud to say they're our manufacturing partner. And Jason, our chief scientist, well, he's actually the president of Salem Metal. Jason, how are you? Dan, great nice seeing to see you. you. This Welcome is your place? to Salem Metal. This is the new facility. Awesome, can't wait to see it. Tell me yes. about your company. Uh, we are a precision sheet metal manufacturer. Right. Uh, been in business going on 50 years now. 50 years, did you Coming start in it? in January. Uh, my father started it back oh. in 1970. I was gonna say, you've been like this high when you started. Exactly. <laughs> right, and you guys, I just heard you, you were manufacturer of the year. Manufacturer of the year, we were nominated by our local senator, uh, yeah. Bruce Tarr. Yeah. And uh, we've actually got a plaque here. I can you got show you right in the display case from the Legislative Manufacturing Caucus the 2019 Manufacturing Award. That's tremendous, congratulations. Thank you. I'm proud of you. Thanks. All right, let's go check out the factory. Let's check it out. Wow. So this here is the factory. It's huge. It's amazing, right here in Massachusetts. Right here, made in Massachusetts. I love it. Can we take a look around? Let's check it out. All right. Well, let's take. Let's go this way, Dan. Yeah, this is where the good gear is. So let's check out the best gear, Jason. <laughs> Nice. This is our uh, machining department. We have five Haas milling machines. This is the program here. It's all uh, CNC programmed. Yeah. Not as exciting as a laser. You got any lasers? We have two lasers. They're both four kilowatt CO2 machines. Uh, we have a material tower on our large machine that's new in this facility. It's a 12 shelf material tower. So we're taking the raw sheet. Oh, this is where it starts here. Material here, here you know, punching, punching the it, whole right? interior features. Yeah. And then bring them over to the laser. Anything else with sparks flying is great. We do TIG welding and we also do MIG welding. And now we're in the process of grinding yeah. uh, to clean up the welds, take yeah. off any high spots in preparation for painting. Well, we got a great tour of the factory. Time to head to the drawing board and plan things out. Hey Dan, what's going on? Oh, hey Jason. I'm uh, just doing a, putting a sketch together so we can think more about the problem. The, the, the question everyone keeps asking is how many bottles can you hold mm. in a set of wine bars? How high can you stack them? Sure. If you think about this, this problem, we have the force of gravity pushing down here, right? And here, right? And here. And each of these like intersects with another bottle with kind of an oblique angle here and here, right? So that must translate the force outward yeah. like this, which in turn translates like this, and then you hit eventually the bar. Now we know if this was like fixed hard on, on the ground, you know, you could probably stack pretty high, but it's not. Um, so let me just take out a set. We'll look at... Uh, oh, those look great. Yeah, they're pretty, huh? Nice red. So each of these things weighs about a half a pound or so. So that's going to help kind of stick it to the, to the table. And then you have a rubber pad on the bottom, right? And that's going to have some sort of coefficient of friction. And the table is going to have a coefficient of friction. And that's what gives it the grippiness. Right. And the question is just how much is it going to stick up? So I think since we know like a coefficient of friction here, mu, right, I think if I recall. Yep. And there's a different one for here, so this will be mu two. And there's probably coefficients here and here. Um, I think we should be able to develop like some sort of model for this mathematically and try to do a prediction before we do the test. You're the chief scientist. Do you, have, do you think you can come up with a formula? <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. I think the only way to do this is just find ourselves a kitchen and go try it. Where are we going to get a kitchen, Dan? I got an idea where we can get a kitchen. Okay, to get a kitchen table, I'm going to head to our good friends at North Shore Marble and Granite, just five miles down the road from Jason's factory, and see what they have in stock. 
Damiano, thanks for having us in. No problem. Da Maricino? Maricino, yeah. Like Maricino. Maricino. Yeah, like Amazing. the cherry. That's All right, it. so yep. you've owned this place for what, 30 years? Uh, yeah, we've been here 20 years. 20 we were in Meros for nine years. Oh, yes. okay. Yep. But you serve all North Shore? All North Shore and South Shore. South Shore, and, so yep. you're all over the place. All over the place. Kitchens, place. Baths, Kitchen, baths, fireplaces. Yep, you name it, all custom made awesome. stuff. Yep. This is good, but the exciting yeah. part's out back. Can we go check Correct. out the factory? Sure. Awesome. Follow me. We have remnants, we got full slabs. And also we have all the remnants here, which I pick a nice remnant for you. If we can go to that slab over here. I oh, yeah. got you a got nice island. Yep. We, can use for our we got a nice island. Yep. Wow, that's beautiful. Yep. This is granite, come from Brazil. Uh -huh. It's um, a Zuplatino. Nice. It's a natural wow, stone. Beautiful. Good. You got a truck we can put yep. this on? We all set. We can follow you and uh, we'll get it going. All right, let's get it on the truck. All right then. Awesome. Thank you. Alright Damiano, we got our kitchen loaded, we're going to go head to uh, the factory, thanks sure. so much. Not a problem, thank you, appreciate it coming by and You're awesome. uh, enjoy it, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, now we're getting there. Ooh. All right, feels pretty stable, right? We gotta be a little Very careful, stable. but I think we got ourselves a kitchen. We got ourselves a kitchen, looks good. Time to go get some wine. Let's go get some wine. All right, you're not coming with me? No. <laughs> I'll go by myself. <laughs> Spain, France, holy cow, they got a lot of wine. Oh wait, we got three more to go here. That's where we'll have to go with. Oh, almost did the experiment right there. <laughs> Done. Okay. Hey, Jason, I got the wine. Wow, this looks amazing. Did you put this together yourself? I did, wanted to set the mood for you. That was very special. It looks amazing, and I really am psyched to try it on a tablecloth first before we get to the granite. Yep. Let's start stacking. Uh, Dan, not so fast. What? You know what they say, safety first. You need your lab coat and your eye protection. You're right. While we got this set up, I think our first attempt should be to to try stacking on top of some dining linens. Common occurrence, right? Sounds and great. my theory is the linen's gonna be pulling in, uh, in opposing directions, and it might actually help us sack up a little bit higher. Definitely. All Let's right, do it. so you wanna split these apart and I'll start handing you some bottles. There you go. Should we start with a four stack? Let's do it. All right. All right, so far we can do four bottles, no problem. Should we go higher? Let's go higher. <laughs> All right, so it's holding pretty true. Wow, I didn't think it would be that simple. I think we're gonna have to get some more wine and stack a little bit higher. Let's go for it. I gotta tell you, the linen holds up pretty darn well. This thing's not moving anywhere, and I think that theory about opposing forces is pretty good. 21. 21. Woo, we're out of wine. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think we should shift to the marble. That'll be much more interesting. Let's give it a shot. All right, let's go. Okay, Dan, so this is the piece of granite that we got from North Shore Marble and Granite. Marble? Marble. 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 Whatever, North Shore Marble and Granite. This is, in fact, a beautiful piece of uh, imported Brazilian granite. It's a lot more slippery yep. than what we just had with the linen. So should we get stacking? Let's get stacking. Okay. I'm going to start handing you bottles. There you go there. One more. One more. So that's 10 bottles. Is that 10 bottles? Three, six, 10. Yep. No problem, right? Holding good. Holding good. We might need a slippery surface than this. <laughs> and number 15. Not a problem. Does it feel any less stable? Very stable. Yep. Okay. Let's keep going. It still seems to show no signs of catastrophic failure, which is what we're looking for. <laughs> All right, here comes 20. Here, you do 20. Number 20. All right? Nothing. Here, I'm going to move the fire out of the way in case it does collapse. Oh. 21. All right. Jason, we did it. We built another 21 stack. Can you believe it? 
looks great. It looks amazing. I, you know, thought on linen for sure it was going to hold up because of the opposing forces. Polished granite like this, I didn't expect it to do so well. I got to say, Jason, though, I'm kind of sad it didn't come crashing down. Hmm. Where do we go from here? Uh, I'm thinking a little wine Jenga. Wine Jenga? Let's do it. You're the chief scientist. You make the first move. Okay. Careful. Oh, slow, 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 slow. Nice. <laughs> All right, my turn. Where do you think I go from? Got to be right to be here. This thing is going to be the cornerstone. Now. Oh, it's king budget. I'm going to have to just go for it. <laughs> Your move, brother. Good luck. I think that one or that one. Yep. You got it? Nice. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Wine Jenga. <laughs> I think I won. <laughs> All right, Jason, we did it. We built a six stack, 21 bottles. We got up pretty high. Yep. We tried something called wine jenga that we've never tried before. Great time. For the folks at home, I wouldn't recommend doing this. Keep in mind, Jason and I are trained professionals wearing the appropriate safety gear. Yep. Uh, wine bars, you can check us out at winebars.com. I think that's about it, Jason. I call that a successful experiment. That's a wrap. Cheers. Cheers, Dan. Cheers, everybody.